have a question for Mr. Branch. Um, it's regarding the OHL draft policy. Um, in the last couple of years, there have been a couple of players that have been granted exceptional player status, and there have been a few that have been denied. So I was just wondering if there's like a set criteria for the OHL in determining who gets exceptional status and who doesn't. Yeah, uh, good question. I think first of all, for everyone's benefit, uh, through our partnership with Hockey Canada, we have a, an arrangement in place that a 15-year-old player cannot play in the CHL unless he's deemed to be exceptional. And uh, it was a great policy put in, uh, but what we failed to do was define the exceptional. How, how do you define an exceptional player? And the first player to come along that really said, hey, uh, I'd like to uh, be considered as a 15-year-old was John Tavares. And uh, what we did uh, as the OHL at that time is established independent people to study John, uh, not so much on, on ice, that was very clear, that was a factor obviously, but we had uh, a, a, a psychologist that would interview John, uh, we did uh, work on his uh, academic standing and performance and his social skills and level of maturity and on and on and on. John was deemed to be exceptional. We then took that model, handed it to Hockey Canada and said, hey, you guys handle it now going forward, which they've done. And I think the good thing is there hasn't been many applications uh, and there's been a couple that have applied and it, they didn't meet the test, which I think was positive in its own way because we didn't want to suddenly see all these 15-year-old players lined up with moms and dads saying we want to play in the CHL. And then uh, this past off-season, a young gentleman by the name of Aaron Ekblad, 15 years old, out of uh, the Windsor Bell River, Ontario area, made application to the Hockey Canada process and he was deemed to be exceptional. And, uh, and he's now playing for the Barry Colts. In fact, he was put into the OHL draft. He was selected first overall. So I think he obviously passed the hockey test, but uh, he does appear to have the level of maturity and uh, other factors that are so very important in order to withstand the challenges and rigors of playing in the CHL. So that's the exceptional player. That's the process. And we try, like I say, to keep it independent. Uh, but it's a, it's a real, I think it's a great process, it's very challenging, and uh, John Tavares, I think, clearly illustrated that he uh, set the bar at a, a very good level, high level, I would suggest, so it's, uh, I think we're in, we're in good hands going forward.